Uno, dos, no tres, y está todo. Bitches in the lado. Hi internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something a little different. We are going absolutely no makeup whatsoever. And yeah, so this should be fun. So I am going to be doing my eyebrows. I have been growing them out because one, I wanted to reshape them and kind of give them more of a shape than what I had before. And as well as I wanted to show you guys what I do for my eyebrows. Um, so yeah, and I'm also going to be shaving my face because my face needs shaved. And don't mind my awful zits right now. Mother Nature has struck and she's a bitch right now. So I am in excruciating pain, but here we are. <laughs> so the tools that I use for this is a comb, little tiny scissors, tweezers, of course, a little spoolie. I'm just using my eyebrow one and then a little razor. Oh, I don't know where it was. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to get started. I am sweating. I mean, I obviously have long sleeve on, but Mother Nature makes me feel like I'm going through menopause right now because I just keep sweating and controlling and it's terrible. So first I'm going to take my little spoolie and I'm just going to brush out my brows and get the hairs not tangled in with each other. I used to like wax my eyebrows off completely like and just leave like this much sometimes I wouldn't leave like any at all so I started to not wax my eyebrows anymore because I want to be able to like when I'm old just let my eyebrow hair grow and not and like not not have any so like this eye this eyebrow you can see like the hair has grown in very well and this eye is very very patchy and I have like a bald spot right in there so I'm definitely not going to be waxing my eyebrows for a while so we're gonna go ahead and get started so I'm going to go ahead and kind of brush these into the shape that I normally would have them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comb and these scissors and all that I do is I will, I take it over the eyebrow hair and you can see that the eyebrow, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like the eyebrow hair will come out of the brush and that is how much I cut off. Some people will brush their eyebrow hair up like this and then go across. I don't necessarily like doing that so I am just going to do it how I normally do it and I think it's easier for me so we're going to head in we're going to do that. So I've been doing this periodically so like my eyebrows didn't need too much hair trimmed off so I'm done with that part already. So now I really like these Revlon face shavers. They are so nice. I can use them probably about three times and then I throw them away. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. So I'm going to start with my forehead and I'm just going to gently glide down my face. Coming to my brow and kind of making the shape that I want with the razor first. I have um, cleansed my face. I just haven't put moisturizer on yet. I like to do this because then my dead skin is kind of sitting on top and it's an easier way to get it out. So, like, I don't know if you guys can see all that hair. I was just from one swipe. I seriously have such a hairy body in general. Again, you guys, like seriously, there's just so much hair that like comes off in clumps, and I think that it is absolutely disgusting. This is also a very good way for me to get my blackheads out. You see, my face is gonna get a little red from the razor on it, but once I put moisturizer on and things like that, then my skin is fine. 
I haven't been shaving my face very often. That's why I have like these really infected zits down here because of the hairs in my face. I also have one over here that's been there for like two weeks now. But hopefully once I shave my face and I get it going again, we are going to be clear skin on the way. And it does not help that I'm on my period and my hormones are everywhere, so. I think it's very important to do this one because it really smooths up the skin and it's easier to apply makeup after doing this and because you are not only getting the hair off your face you are getting the dead skin off of your face which makes it feel super duper smooth and it will help clear up any acne or blackheads and things like that and it just makes your skin feel so smooth but remember to moisturize after this You never want to go over the same spot twice that can really oh my god and can really damage the skin and things like that it can also make your skin extra irritated which is what we don't want going over the chin area being very careful Like, look at all of that hair. That is from my neck. My neck grows hair super duper fast. But literally, so much hair comes off. I feel like one of my cats after I do this. And the key to this is to be very, very gentle. You, your skin is so sensitive. You want to be super duper gentle when you're doing this to not try and um, cut yourself. One thing that I've seen is people will practice on balloons. They put shaving cream on balloons and then they take the razor and they try to, they do this in cosmetology school, barber school. They go across the skin and they just very lightly go over it and try not to pop the balloon. I just kind of picked this up really easily and got it under control. So now I'm going to start styling the brows kind of while my face sits here and calms down a little bit because it is a little angry at me for doing this because my skin hates me. <laughs> no, don't you that though. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm just going to start in the middle of my eyebrows. I did already shave down where my middle normally goes. Obviously these hairs over here don't grow as far in as these ones. so. But that's okay because I draw my eyebrows on half the time anyway. I do have one really nice hair right there that I am actually going to leave. But I am going to clean up underneath of those. Most of the I still have like a couple of hairs growing in right in there and I'm going to leave those as well even though they're baby hairs. I just really want to start growing out my eyebrows and have them be 
a more natural thing and then hopefully once I get them grown out enough I can get them tinted and then I won't have to do like my eyebrows as much. Another thing I will do is I will take my razor again and I will just really, I lift my eyebrows up and I will go underneath very carefully. That is another thing is making sure that your skin is tight when you do this. So like, you can pull up. I just know that um, if I like point my eyes down or things like that, that my skin will tighten up. And like, I very carefully like obviously I have to hold it on my face and I will go like this. But since I like have a mirror in my hand, it's kind of hard for me to be able to pull it down on my face. So I'm not technically doing a very good job, I'm not demonstrating very well. But make sure that your skin is tight when you do this. So I'm also gonna take this and I'm going to do it on this next eyebrow over here. And then every once in a while I will have to grab my tweezers to get kind of a more stubborn hair. These are my like bad tweezers that I use to put my eyelashes on because they're like so gapped open. I don't know where my good tweezers went so we're just going to make these work for today. Another thing that I like to do also is I can get in there with my little tiny scissors and just kind of snip and get nice up close and personal. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb my eyebrows down and kind of find like my arch and make it a little bit better. So I have one eyebrow done. These are not like the ideal shape or like my dream eyebrows or anything like that. Not by any means, but since I have not had eyebrows in a really long time, it is going to take definitely some time to get these suckers to grow out and be how I want them to be. But they are most definitely better than what they were, so I'm excited to kind of have like a more outlined brow and have more hair when I do my brows. So now I'm gonna start on this other one that is a little bit more straggly. This one I'm definitely gonna have to be a little bit more careful with doing, and I'm definitely going to try and leave as much hair as I possibly can on this brow. Okay, so you can see that this eyebrow definitely no longer has a tail that was 
what I knew was gonna happen compared to this one so definitely I still have like baby hairs growing in right there so that is about as good as this brow is going to get I think so yeah so that is all that I have for how I do my eyebrows normally I definitely tried to grow these out as long as I could but I could not take it anymore especially because filming my videos got really hard without having my eyebrows like ready to rock and roll so hopefully this eyebrow hair grows in soon but i am very impressed with how long i actually grew these out for normally i'm just like giving me the wax pot but i'm doing better about it i'm trying not to wax my eyebrows as much so yeah hopefully all of this acne clears up soon so i'm going to go moisturize and that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later